All right, guys, just caught a northern water snake right by the river. Look at this guy's belly on that thing. Trying to get up to bite me. But look at that belly. Look how pretty that is. This guy's a chunk, too. He's huge. All right, guys, here's a better up close view of this water snake. And here's maybe a better view of that belly of them. Look at how orange that is. Usually these guys can be kind of bland on the belly, but this guy seems to be really striking collared. He seems a little bit calm now too. Usually these guys are a little bit more aggressive than the other snake species I catch. Usually I leave these guys alone, honestly, but this guy was pretty big and I wanted to get him on camera. But I'm gonna let this guy go back down in the stream and hopefully we get catching some more herps tonight. Alright guys, here's the next herp of the trip. This is a northern two-line salamander. This is a pretty small one, so he's not as pretty. Usually they get that nice yellow body to him. But usually, you can kind of see it on this, right on the sides. He has a black line on either side of him running down his body. And that's how they get that two-line name for them. But I'm going to let this guy go back underneath his rock and keep on herping. All right, guys, we ended up switching locations, and this is the first herp of the hike. This is a little green frog I just caught in a puddle on the side of the trail. But we've seen enough of these guys in my latest video, so I'm just going to let this guy go back in his puddle and keep on moving. All right, here's our next herp of the hike. This is a Eastern American toad. This is a young guy. He's probably from this year or last year's hatchlings. Uh, I'm going to let this guy go, keep hiking up the trail. I'm going to a spot with a couple boards and rocks that I know have been good for snakes in the past. Uh, so hopefully we get some of them. Here's the next herp of the hike. This is another Eastern American toad, about the same size as the last one. I'm going to let this guy keep hopping on his way and keep searching for more herps. Here's another Eastern American toad. This guy's probably the smallest one we've seen so far. This will probably be the last one i show you guys. I uh, don't want to get the video too boring, but this is good. This means we'll probably hopefully find some snakes around because this is a good food item for a lot of the snake species around here. Um, so I'm going to get this guy off the trail and keep walking up. All right, here's the next herp. This is another green frog. This will probably be the last one I show too. We're getting pretty close to the snake spot. Uh, so hopefully we get some snakes. I lied. I'm showing you another American toad. This guy's much bigger, so I figure I get him on camera. But I'm going to let this guy go. He's peeing all over me. Um, but I'm going to let this guy go and keep on walking. All right, guys, here's the first snake of this hike. Look at him posing up in defense mode. This is a northern red-bellied snake. And they get that name because if you flip them over, look how striking red that is on their belly. Beautiful snakes. These guys come in all variations. This guy, see how he's black on the sides and he has that brown band? I found them before where they can be all brown, all black. They're very variable species, but just have that stunning red belly on them. And I usually don't actually get to see these guys a whole lot. Uh, I think they're relatively common, but I think they're more fossorial species in my opinion. Uh, so it's harder for me to flip these guys under rocks, but I was pretty lucky today. He's got me wrapped up. But I'm gonna let this guy go underneath his rock. And there's a couple more rocks here, and hopefully we get some more species. 